Shalom, and we start by giving all praise, honor, and glory <coughs> unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Raka Kodash, double honors to the apostles and others, great millstone, peace and mercy to the house of David, and Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father, who the world calls God. Yahweh Shai is the true name of the Heavenly Father's only God, His Son, who the world refers to as Jesus Christ, Bahasham is in the name. And Rakaha Kodash is the Holy Spirit, and also shall to the hundred and forty-four thousand men that's laboring in this truth for the sake of Yahweh Bashmi Al Shah, and shall want to the innumerable multitude, men, women, and children, that may be listening in all truth and sincerity shall want. And this is your brother Kodash coming back here with another video to the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashmi Al Shah. And Lord willing this video is edifying. <clears throat> the title of this video, Lord Willing. It's going to be uh, the grace period is almost over. Okay, because as the scripture says, we are under grace. But let me just read it here. Romans 6, starting at verse 14, it says, For sin shall not have dominion over you, for ye are not under the law, but under grace. What then? Shall we sin because we are not under the law, but under grace? God forbid. Okay, so we're so we're not under the law. You know, the law can't save us. Okay, but we are, uh, uh, and we're under grace. All right, because at this time now, you know, <clears throat> especially you know us prior to coming to the truth. You know, we was we was ignorant. You know, we was ignorant of the things that. Uh, that was pleasing unto Yahweh by Shem Yahushai. Let me actually get this scripture. Acts 17 and 30. <laughs> Acts 17 and 30 says, In the times of this ignorance, God winked at, it, but now commandeth all men everywhere to repent. Uh, because, verse 31 says, Because he have appointed a day in the which he will judge the world in righteousness by that man whom he hath ordained, whereof he have given assurance unto all men, and that he have raised him from the dead. <coughs> Excuse me. And that man is Yahweh Shah. Give me one second. That man that the Lord has <clears throat> has appointed to judge his earth, all right, is our Lord, Yahweh Shah. All right. <clears throat> so, going back to verse 30, it says, and in, 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 in the times of this ignorance, God winked at, but now commanded all men everywhere to repent. All right, so we was once ignorant, you know, to these laws, statutes, commandments. All right, to the ways that's pleasing unto Yahweh Bashem Yahushua. But now, but now the Lord has commanded us to repent, all right, because he has his prophets out, out there on the highways and byways, you know, every major city uh, <clears throat> leading you back unto Yahweh Bashem Yahushua, you know, leading us back into our true heritage. All right, because Jeremiah 17 and 4, it says what? It says that we will discontinue from our heritage, okay? But now the Lord has his, has his men out here, all right, returning us back unto him. The scripture says, I will give you pastors according to, uh, t according to mine heart that will feed you with knowledge and understanding. So the Lord, he's given us men according to his mind, all right, that's going to feed us. All right, with knowledge and understanding. All right, this corn and wine. All right. <clears throat> and uh, let me read, go back to Romans 6, verse 15. It says, what then? Shall we sin because we are not under the law, but under grace? <coughs> God forbid. <clears throat> so we don't willfully sin. All right, we keep the laws to the best of our ability. All right, but we're not bound by the law. All right, and we can't keep the laws perfectly. Okay, 
There's a lot of laws that we just can't keep because we're here in Babylon. All right. We're in the land of our captivity. You know, to a certain extent, we have to follow the, uh, the law of the land. All right. Therefore, we can't put sodomites to death. Okay. We can't, uh, <clears throat> a lot of, uh, a lot of brothers, you know, they don't have, uh, they don't have the means or the funds, okay, to uh, to put their women in a in a different household when she's on her separation, all right, which is her her uh, which is her period, all right, with the, uh, that about a week a week or so <clears throat> that she's unclean, okay. So there's a lot of things that we can't keep because we're on we're on a captivity we're on a captivity. All right, and we just don't have the means and the funds, okay? But but that does that mean that we just break all the laws, eat pork, shrimp, crab, lobster? No. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> but we keep the laws that we that we're able to keep. All right. But this grace period is running out, man. All right, all right. We're already seeing. Uh, these prophecies coming to pass, rumors of wars, all right, earthquakes in diverse places, all right, uh, it was just a, it was just, it was just like an, uh, I believe it was like an earthquake or it turned into like a tsunami, like an underground earthquake, all right, earthquakes in diverse places, man, these are all things that are leading on, that are, that are leading up until the end of times. So that grace period is 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 closing, all right. Just like in the days of Noah with that art, that art closing. This is now this is a spiritual art that's that's uh, that's getting ready to close. Let me uh, get to my next precept here. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter four. I'm gonna start at verse ten. It says he pleased the Most High. And was beloved of him, so that living among sinners, he was translated. Yea, speedily was he taken away, lest that wickedness should alter his understanding, or de or deceit beguile his soul. And it's going to speak about you know, uh, uh, roughly paraphrasing, you know, uh, if Esau was to continue to run this world forever, that no flesh shall be saved. Let me actually see if I can get that. <clears throat> Matthew 24 and 22 and except those days should be shortened there should no flesh be saved but for the elect's, elect's sake those days shall be shortened and we're seeing the days being shortened man the days the times is being shortened all right, because the Lord, he's getting ready to return. It says, yea, speedily was he taken away, lest that wickedness should alter his understanding or deceit beguile his soul. All right, and the scripture says, you know, if, if, the big word is if, if, if it was possible, they shall deceive the very elect, man, but it's not possible. All right, because the Lord, <coughs> Lord pretty much has that seal, <coughs> The Lord has that spiritual seal, all right, that mark of exemption for the elect, all right, and they won't be, uh, they won't be fooled, you know, by the ways of Esau, all right. It says, for the bewitching of naughtiness do of obscure things that are honest. Let's get that word, uh, obscure. It says, dark. Uh, figuratively, uh, moral, morally unenlightened, gloomy. So it makes you. It is. Uh, it also says dark, clouded, gloomy, dim, not clear. So let me go back to the scripture here. It says for the bewitching of naughtiness, do of obscure things that are honest. All right, it's, it's darkness, man. All right, all this wickedness that's going on in this earth. All right, it's, it's darkening the light, okay? But through the spirit and power of Yahweh, 
this light is overcoming the darkness. All right, because because <clears throat> once again, the Lord has his men out there on the highways and byways, man. All right, we are literally chanting down, you know, Babylon, man. All right, now, now, therefore, uh, even though we go on social media, uh, these different platforms, TikTok, all right, even, uh, even like a uh, worldly podcast, podcasts, all right, what are they doing? They're speaking about Hebrew Israelites, all right, because this light is, is overcoming the dark, all right. It says, for the bewitching of naughtiness doeth obscure things that are honest. All right, so all this wickedness, all this wickedness that's going on is, 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 uh, Esau tried to dim the light, but you can't dim the light of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh, man. <coughs> <coughs> the Lord created, you know, the Lord, he's the creator of all things, man. All right. And the scriptures also say, uh, let me, let me get this one. Not second Ezra's, I believe it's first Ezra's four. <clears throat> so like, uh, maybe it is second Ezra's. Uh, second Ezra six, lock it. Second Ezra six, starting at twenty seven, says, "For evil shall be put out, and deceit shall be quenched. As for faith, it shall flourish; corruption shall be overcome, and the truth with ha which hath been so long without fruit shall be declared." All right, and that's through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahushua. All right, <clears throat> so let me go back here. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 4, and uh, verse 12 says, For the bewitching of naughtiness doeth obscure things that are honest, <coughs> and the wandering of concu concupence doeth undermine the simple mind. Doeth undermine the simple mind. All right, the wandering of uh, concupence, that's like... Uh, Lustful desires, but let me just get the word here. <clears throat> it says, ardent desire, improper or illicit desire, lustful feeling. Okay, so men wanting to be women, women wanting to be men. Okay, women being bi. All right, all these are. Having sex with animals, all these things, man. That's 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 uh illicit desires, man. That's that's wickedness, man. Okay, but that 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 um what's the word? Cause it says doeth undermine the simple mind. Alright, so that's pretty much taking over they uh taking over these simple niggas out here, man. Two thirds of our people they 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 get um two thirds of our people are overcome by that spirit, all right, because they're because they're light minded, all right. <clears throat> it says he, he being made perfect in a short time fulfilled a long time. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, he being made perfect, man. All right, the elect, you know. Lord willing, we part of that number, man. We we are being made perfect, man, because the Lord is trying us. Right now, all right. Scripture says, uh, "Gold tried in the fire." So we being made perfect, we being made that uh, that pure gold. All right, uh, golden wedge of Ophir, man. All right, it says uh, Isaiah thirteen and twelve: "A man shall be more precious than fine gold." All right, the 
Lord is making us perfect. Verse 14 says, For his soul pleased the Lord, therefore hasted he to take him away from among the wicked. This the people saw and understood it not, neither laid they neither laid they up this in their minds, that his grace and mercy is with his saints, and he hath respect unto his chosen. You see? His grace is with his, is with his elect. Let me get this one real quick. Wisdom of Solomon 3 and 9. They that put their trust in him shall understand the truth. So to understand this truth, you have to trust Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. All right? You have to trust his word. It says, And such as be faithful and love shall abide with him. For grace and mercy is to his saints, and he hath care for his elect. All right? It says, for, it says, and such as be faithful in love shall abide with him. <coughs> we have to be faithful unto Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah. All right. <clears throat> well known scripture here. Sirach or Ecclesiasticus, um, chapter 5, verse 7, it says, Make no tarrying to turn to the Lord. And put not off from day to day. For suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth, and in thy security thou shalt be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance. So you want to put off the day of the Lord? All right. You you go ahead and keep putting off the day of the Lord, man. All right. Every day you put off the day of the Lord, you know, you're really like speeding up your death, man. Okay? You know, you, you're really marking yourself up to destruction. All right, because you know the Lord's will, but you're just, you're being slothful. All right, slothful in business. All right, you don't want to be slothful, all right, when it comes to the work of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh All right, moving real slow. A sloth is one of the slowest animals, if not the slowest animal. Okay? Probably even slower, slower than a snail, man. All right? And that's how a lot of people move, all right, when it comes to this truth. All right? You got to get that ball rolling, man. <clears throat> Something should click in you like, man, let me, man, let me, let me study. Let me get out to these highways and byways. Let me be proactive, all right, and with my faith, all right? But that ultimately comes down to fear. You have to fear the Lord. If you're not fearing the Lord, you're not gonna. You, it's, uh, it's not gonna be in your spirit. Uh, you're not gonna be moved to do these things. All right, because a lot of niggas, you know, they rather uh, flex on social media, all right, you know, with their material things, okay, uh, rather than serve the Lord, man. Not knowing if you serve the Lord, man, we're gonna be the, we're gonna be we're gonna be the ultimate flexors in the kingdom. But two thirds they can't they can't think past America, man. They can't think oh in the kingdom, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that. You know they want to do it now. They wanna they wanna uh, they wanna flex. They wanna be uh, uh, they wanna be looked at now, man. Okay. But that's all going to come in the kingdom of heaven, man. In righteousness. You know? That's why two-thirds, they're going to have their head down in the kingdom, man. Because they put off serving the Lord, man. It says, uh, verse 8. <clears throat> it says, set not thine heart upon goods unjustly gotten. For they shall not profit thee in the day of calamity. You know, a lot of these robbers and scammers, they 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 actually set their mind upon upon these uh, jewelry, cars, clothes, all right, unjustly gotten at that, all right. They got it off wickedness. It says, for they not they shall not profit thee in the day of calamity. So your Gucci belt, all right, your Prada shoes, all right, your uh, 
your uh your your Gucci jacket, man. <laughs> the list goes on and on. Your Lamborghini, your Rolls Royce, all right. None of these things is gonna deliver you, all right, in a time of Jacob's trouble. None of these things are gonna profit you in a time of Jacob's trouble. Okay? Yeah, maybe if you got like some gold or some or some silver you can trade. All right, but two thirds of our people, more than likely, they are gonna get robbed, man. All right, for the lack of goods. All right, the Lord, the Lord might send somebody to murder you, man. All right, because you was being wicked and you was taking advantage of this grace period, man. All right, this is the time to get right. This is not the time. All right, we we are under grace right now. Uh, we are in the grace of the supreme power to where he's not he's not putting you to death right away for doing wickedness, man. But two thirds of our people, they they taking advantage of that, man. They trying to walk all over the heavenly father, man. But the heavenly father, he's not playing that, you know. Yeah, yeah, he may let you uh, sin for a season, but he's gonna come back uh, for that sentence, man. Ecclesiastes chapter 11, I mean, chapter 8, verse 11, because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily, therefore the heart of the sons of men is fully set in them to do evil. Though a sinner do evil a hundred times and his days be prolonged, yet surely I know that it shall be well with them that fear God which fear before him. Verse 13, but it shall not, but it shall not, all right, that key word is not, N-O-T, it shall not be well with the wicked, neither shall he prolong his days which are as a shadow, because he feareth not before the Most High, all right, his days are as a shadow, man, Okay? Yeah, when you're walking down the street, you may see a shadow for a little bit. <coughs> Excuse me. But as you keep walking, that shadow just disappears. That's the same thing with you with you wicked niggas out here, man. All right? You are prolonging. You're prolonging in your wickedness. But the Heavenly Father, he has a, he has a certain day set out for you to perish. How about that? You know? But let me go back to verse 12. It says, Though a sinner doing evil hundred times, over and over doing wickedness, man. That's why the scripture says, you know, uh, if he not the oppressor, all right, which is uh, Esau, really, so-called white nation, all right? But even for us, we can't envy two-thirds, man, all right? Because they got, they gonna be destroyed, man. It says, in his days be prolonged, yet surely I know that it shall be well with them that fear God, which fear before him. All right, it's going to be well with us, man. Lord willing, we endure unto the end. Shall be well with us that fear the most high, man. All right, because we're we walking on eggshells, man. All right, we're not just doing uh, willy-nilly, man. Okay, we're always thinking about the Lord. Wisdom meeting us at every thought. Uh, we always um, really just being cautious, man. Uh, you got to be cautious, you know, serving the Lord, man. Because you do, we we try, we we're trying our best to offend less, even though we're not under the law. We're trying our best to offend less, all right? Because the Lord, He didn't give us the license to sin. Let me actually go back to Sirach and get the Sirach five and fifteen it says, "Be not." Uh, Salakia, one more. Uh, I think it's 15 and 20. Come on, Sirach or Ecclesiastes, chapter 15, verse 20. He have commanded no man to do wickedly, neither have he given any man license to sin. So his commandments all up and down the scriptures, man. No commandment says, thou shalt do wickedness, man. The Lord doesn't deal with that, man. All right, he doesn't give us the license to sin. 
<clears throat> yeah, I'm going to send my son down to die for your sins so you all can eat pork. You know, that's just foolishness, man. And that's just the lust, the lustful desires, you know, of, of these Christians and two thirds of our people, man. They all fall under the same category, man. Demons, man. You know, so you don't want to take advantage of this great spirit. Let me get another one in Romans. I don't see how Christians pass through these scriptures. All right. <clears throat> it says, Romans 3 and 31, do we then make void the law through faith? All right, void means it's no good. So just forget about the law because we have faith. All right, it says, God forbid, yea, we establish the law. So we have to establish the law, man. All right, and and that's what we're doing through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Yahshua. We're establishing the law. We're telling you people of your sins. Isaiah 58 and 1, it says, uh, Cry aloud, spare not. Show my people their transgressions, man. In the house of Jacob, <coughs> in the house of Jacob, their sins. So we're showing you people the, uh, we're showing you people uh, your sin. We are establishing the law. And you got to ask yourself, why does the Lord have us doing this? All right, the Lord is having us doing this because we are preparing for the kingdom of heaven. All right, Lord willing, we, we prepare to be righteous rulers in the kingdom of heaven. All right, you know, governing the, the kingdom of heaven, all right, through these laws, statutes, commandments. And in the kingdom of heaven, we're going to be able to keep the laws, statutes, commandments perfectly, man. All right, we're going to be under the law. These heathens are going to be under the under the law in the kingdom of heaven, man. All right, they're not gonna, they're not gonna, they're not gonna get passes for for going off. All right, you know, we see a sodomite in the kingdom of heaven. He's gonna be put to death, man. All right, any of these heathens, because the Israelites, we're gonna be perfect in the kingdom of heaven. We are never sin. All right, but these heathens, all right, they try to do. Uh, they gonna they gonna do their best to not sin, man. All right, cause we gonna. We're going to beat the living hell out of them, man, just for all the uh, the bad things that they've done to us, okay? So they're going to try their best to uh, to follow our law, all right? But they're going to be, but they're still in the flesh, all right? So they're they going to be, they're going to have them everlasting, man, chains of darkness, man. That's sick, man. Because <coughs> we in these vile bodies, you know, see me here. You know, coughing got something in my throat. Coughing and stuff, man. That's 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 trouble in the flesh, man. All right, you and well, well, the real trouble in the flesh is these sins, as a uh, temptation. All right, uh, the fact that we we still go off, you know, not willingly, but we go off, man. All right, but we in these chains of darkness. All right, we got we 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 got a battle with the flesh and the spirit. All right, we deal with temptations, all right? That's going to be pushed on to the heathen, man. They're going to have to deal with that, all right? So they're going to go off, all right? But we're going to correct them with the law in the kingdom of heaven, man. All right? You know? You know, so I just wanted to touch on that, man. Uh, the fact that you can't take advantage of this grace period that we're in, man. All right? Because this is the... Uh, uh, Apostle Torah labeled this year uh, the the year of Yahweh Shem Yahshua turning up, man. All right, this is we we're in the time of judgment, man. The judgment is going out. Rap the news, all these scoffers, they getting put to death, man. All right, so if you wanna uh, you wanna keep piddle paddling around with this truth, you wanna take this truth for granted. The Lord's gonna put you to death, man. All right, so you can't take advantage of this grace period, man. Lord willing, this video is edifying to an elect brother or sister out there, man. All right, so with that, I'm going to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Bahashem, Raka, Kodash, and double honors to the apostles and others, great millstone, peace and mercy to the house of David, to the next lesson, I say Shalom, and the Baba Baal, Shalom.